What's up, everybody? Welcome to Metal Remains Backstage. My name is Manuel, and with me is Jennifer and Chris Hello. from Beyond the Black. How are you guys? We're good. We're so looking forward for tonight's show. Awesome. Uh, for this whole tour. Uh, it's exciting to be on tour again. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Haven't been to, to uh, Madrid, so I'm looking forward yeah, to La Riviera. First time. Nice club at all. Yeah, it's very nice. It's right along the, the river, Manzanares. Mm -hmm. It's not that big of a river, but hey, the name sounds fine. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You were like running on that river, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> to, today. Working out. Yeah, a little bit. We have to, to get out of of the club sometimes and just awesome. um, yeah get some move yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to move yourself, especially when you're going to do some work. And uh, well, a part of being rising stars and personalities, uh, you all, you are also metal fans. So, what have you been listening to recently? Huh, I have to think about it. Uh, there are some um, random bands I love to listen, like Kiss, Witch Engage, or okay. Bring Me the Horizon. Yeah, bands. Bring Me the Horizon is also my. One of my favorites. Yeah, but but to be honest, I'm not listening to that much metal at all. So it's more independent music, even though uh, just um, how it's called. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, he, he not here box. How it's called? Uh, English word for. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> something something without music, to be honest, because as as you have like so some much podcasts, uh, and, podcasts all and all that stuff, mm -hmm. because it, like metal remains podcast, exactly. youtube.com slash metal remains. <laughs> <laughs> and Jennifer, what can you tell us? What have you been listening to? Um, a lot of stuff. Bring the horizon, yes, but uh, also um, others like. Billie Eilish. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on a concert as well, uh, Parkway Drive. I, I was more on concerts than listening to music, okay. but also I'm, I'm a huge Disney fan. So I always listen to, to music of Disney and uh, yeah, all of that stuff. Okay, great. So at the beginning of this tour, you announced that your upcoming fifth album, Beyond the Black, will be released on January 13th. What makes this release so special as to carry the name of the band? I think uh, this album will be the best of everything that we've done before. So um, we started with a lot of symphonic uh, with the first albums. So we um, yeah, came back to a bit of symphonic with this album as well, uh, but also didn't lost like the modern stuff that we had in the last um, album. So um, yeah, I think uh, this is uh, the main thing that, that is the most important for Beyond the Black. That's why. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. We were thinking a lot of uh, which name could fit perfectly to this coming album, and like you can see already in the in the current singles we have released, um, it's more back to the roots, but it's still modern. It's still new. We've learned a lot of uh, out of the last two uh, albums of Horizons and out of the Hurricane, even though the first ones were, of course, more this typical symphonic mm -hmm. thing. Um, but yeah, the, like Jennifer said, the mix out of it. Okay, awesome. Black. We have enjoyed three great singles from it already. Reincarnation, Is There Anybody Out There, and Winter Is Coming, mm -hmm. a favorite of mine, by the way. Okay. And they came along with a trilogy of videos that seem to be connected. Mm -hmm. These videos have a very high production value. You should check them out, definitely. What can you comment about the story they tell? About the story they tell? Very good question. <laughs> I would say um, we are telling... A whole story with all of these videos that we're doing um, because we're talking about different um, yeah important themes in life that um, yeah we we always talk about with Beyond the Black but this time we concentrated on each one of, of these important things that we we think that we have to talk about so um, this is why all, everything is connected mm -hmm. and will be connected in this whole album i liked all the props the sword mm -hmm. the mask yeah at first when reincarnation came out uh in our channel we make like summaries of videos mm -hmm. and we said uh, something like uh video game herein is uh gearing up for battle that yeah. was the, that was the the short version of that video but uh after that we uh, realized that they were 
connected. So it was a big reveal at the start mm -hmm. of the latest one. Um, the sound on Beyond the Black seems to be different, and I'm talking about the album, mm -hmm. from your previous release, Horizons, and closer to what we heard on previous records. I want to be honest with you, <laughs> I loved a couple of songs on, on Horizons, but my reaction, like many fans, was mixed because mm -hmm. the, the sound was more experimental. You told me already that you're going back to a more rooted uh, sound. Uh, what's your vision for this in particular? Yeah, we, like you said, with, um, with Horizons, it was more electronic, it was more experimental, it was different because we wanted to have it like this. We wanted to try out some stuff um, we never did before and or we are also kind of fans kind of that. We wanted to, to check out things which we are listening to and oh, this could be cool and this could be cool. But um, yeah, as an artist I think you have to do such things because otherwise um, you don't, you don't, you have to check out your, your limits on every yeah. kind of music and that's why we, like we said, that's why we came up with the name Beyond the Black because we, we, we tried things like that also before also with some funny stuff and when you when you have done your uh, your next album and you sit there in the studio and think about what was done in the past and what will come now and we write songs and and collect them and um yeah we thought hey let's do it like this like you said more back to 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 the to, to roots to the to the riffing style even though horizon is a great album of course we love it it's not something we would say ah <sighs> Was, I think at all. I think it was super important that we wrote that album because, it, like in the whole life, you have to try things out to know what you want and what you don't want. <laughs> so um, even if we really love this album, as he said, and all the songs of it, and we play it live very, very, um, yeah, we love to play it live. Uh, but uh, yes, it, it's it's good to come a bit more back to to the roots mm -hmm. to to the symphonic stuff and all that. Yeah. This is a question that I've seen pop up a lot ever since Is There Anybody Out There came out, and it refers to a certain sound sample that we hear during a part of the song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a famous saying that says, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> and that might apply to this question, but I prefer to ask, what in the world is that sound? <laughs> uh, we, 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 we have released it already, I mean, it's, and it's in the video. We, we, we have found uh, the original chicken song. <laughs> No, no. We we could try. We were thinking about some some ethno sounds, some some stuff, and somehow we, you know, there are a lot of tons of libraries of sounds, mm -hmm. and you're sitting there, and you you have a riff, and then you want to create something special, and and then in the studio we you we have a fun. great riff. You're, you're <laughs> underestimating that that yeah. one in particular. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really it's a bit fun to play. You, you it, uh, really. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And so we, we need something we need something special. I mean that's something for example we've, we've learned with Horizons to, mm -hmm. to create special elements and but but this time we want to combine it more with the, with the roots of riffing of symphonic stuff and so came up with this the exhale. chicken. Exhale. <laughs> so the, exhale exhale stuff. or yeah. something. <laughs> and I see that you like to use a lot of props and enhance mm -hmm. Uh, the the musical experience on the stage with that. Are there any surprises on this tour that we can expect to see? Yeah, we thought about a lot of stuff that we could do and we really brought a lot of stuff into our set. Well, there's a big <laughs> truck outside. Yeah. <laughs> that as well. And so you can see a lot of specials and uh, we try to yeah really entertain the people um, in front of the stages. So um, we hope this will happen as well but till now we can say the people are happy yeah. <laughs> and we are happy too yeah we are happy as fans as well for jennifer in addition to your singing career with uh, beyond the black you are also known to host and make interviews mm -hmm. much like this but not with this equipment but professional equi equipment <laughs> in various festivals how has that experience been in addition to being a musician um, to be honest, it was always super interesting for me to um, be on the other side. I also were a crew member someday, uh, I think some years ago, um, where I did the teleprompter. Do you say that in English as well? Um, <laughs> so um, I love to be to to see all the views, um, not just being the, the star on the stage, also seeing the other side. So um, that was also like something that I wanted to experience uh, because yeah I, I know myself I'm not the best 
in talking. <laughs> well, you're doing quite so, well. Yeah, thank you. Um, I learned a lot over the years, but uh, I never thought when I was young that I would do interviews. Um, so that was kind of a yeah, thing that, that I had to do to, to see the other side and to, to see how much I've grown also in, in talking and all of that stuff. And also, it was super interesting to, to see what other people, other uh, artists are telling me mm. um, when they know I'm an artist too. That, that's so funny uh, then. And yeah, that's why I did this and uh, it was a great experience. Great. Well, check out Jennifer's interviews as well, because they're very good. <laughs> have, have you ever had a starstruck moment during one of those? Um, I think the, the most uh, important thing was uh, when I met um, Andrew Shikari. That was super um, spontaneous. Do you know that? No, when, no, sorry. Okay, because um, it was like we were on that festival and I had some interviews and then they said, okay, this, this band is not doing the interview, you do Enter Shikari instead. And I, I said, what? Enter Shikari? Okay, in five minutes? Why? I don't have any questions. Um, just in my head because I'm, I'm a fan. So, um, yeah, that, that was super surprising and also like it was the first day I ever did interviews. And then this situation. Your first interview. Yeah, it was crazy. But sometimes you have to do crazy stuff. Yeah, and talking about crazy <laughs> stuff, can you tell us what is your favorite backstage moment? I mean, generally, the, um, of course, there are two special moments every day. The, the one is that when you know it's, uh, it's stage time, because then you know, okay, time to go. Time to go. I'm ready. And then the, the shower afterwards. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's the second special one when you, when you have a when you're just just completely let's say empty you you not empty because of it was kind of bad thing empty you you gave everything you you yeah. you're done it's yeah. like i don't know you you won the world championship in football or whatever <laughs> so you're you're completely done and just want to relax a bit and then afterwards like yesterday you order the the pizza vulcano nacho or something and you <laughs> open a big bag of pizza and there is a cheese vulcan inside of your pizza that's something special also uh, in barcelona yeah in barcelona great yeah. i haven't checked that out did yeah. you jennifer please? yeah i don't know if it's crazy but um we have a little piano on uh, this tour that is just private uh, because we don't play a piano song on stage mm -hmm. um so uh, sometimes you can hear bach or mozart or something in our backstage and i think that is so funny but also some some other other pop songs and all of that stuff. And, and sometimes Amaranth is also singing with us from the other side. And that is, yeah, that is kind of fun. Yeah, it seems <laughs> very fun, uh, this tour. So you shouldn't miss him if you are able to go to any of the dates that Beyond the Black, Amaranth, Butcher Babies and Ad Infinitum uh, are coming to your city. Don't miss them because it's a great show. And also don't miss uh, Beyond the Black's album that's coming up. When, when is it coming up? I had the date right here. 13th January to 20th. Yeah, so it's going to be one of the first albums of 2023 that mm -hmm. we're going to enjoy. And I'm going to be first in line to download it because I don't buy them anymore. But I, I, I do support the bands by that way. Uh, so you, you don't should... do it illegal? It's oh, fine. no, no, no. That, that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, uh, buy merch because that's also very important. They have a lot of, of uh, t-shirts and stuff. Very cool stuff that you should check out, okay? Jennifer and Chris, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And I hope Thank to see you, so you once again in the future in another tour. Thank you so much for the interview. But until then, stay metal! <laughs>